All right, traders, we're back. Check this out. Cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin is the subject of this video. I mean, we're picking up uh, right where we left last time, last Friday. We still, we we're still talking about the Bitcoin. So this is kind of a natural continuation of what was going on. Uh, Price was just taking the previous high. That was the last time we were here, and I was uh, talking about uh, a turning point. Uh, where price action could very well turn around and head back to where it came from and possibly go even lower. So I was calling out the Bitcoin and this area as a potential tipping point. As, uh, as always, I was ready to put my money where my mouth is, pull the trigger on 5k. That was back then, three days ago. As you know, cryptocurrency market doesn't take a, a, a doesn't take a break not even in, on weekends it just keeps going so three days later here we are price section is putting some pressure right now on this strong support level having said that i don't think it's going to hold and i believe price section will be successful in the crossover we're talking about the level is it's actually two levels hard to see the price tag on those because they're so close to one another but it's roughly around the area of twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty now it looks like it's uh pricing is drilling through that level right now as we speak and we felt confident enough to throw in another 5k so we're basically building up basically we're doubling up on this position from 5k to 10k and still counting what we need is uh, a proof that price was able to overcome this obstacle and that would be in the form of a close a daily you know by the end of the day a close of that daily bar below that level 20,830. 20, once we get that uh, that's kind of a green light basically for us to push the position even bigger as we go towards the target 18627.4 that's the level we've designated as our target we do believe it's going to go be, uh, beyond in fact we believe it's going to go far beyond but we have to break that move into digestible pieces now let's take a look at the potential for this downside move i'm talking about after we've seen the break below 2819 just last month with that breakdown confirmation from that monthly closing bar now we actually see a reconfirmation for that for that move and from that for for that breakdown because price action came up basically started the month uh, hammering and it was testing that 2819 from below spent quite a few days above that level but now as you can see it's coming back it's pulling back down relieving that little spike that suspicious spike that's basically uh telling us that this breakdown had been confirmed right and it's now on its way and on, on on the back foot again and at this point we feel like the next big level that should we should be talking about is 60 is 6000 sorry 6073 so that's a huge move even though visibly on the chart it doesn't look like much if you check the numbers it's a huge move we're trading at 2500 6000 that's roughly i would say about 70 percent of potential loss in value and that's coming after right after pricing already shed 70 percent of its value by dropping from roughly 66 to 20. so that's quite incredible i mean if it will finish up that move that i'm talking about we would be talking about 90 percent of loss in value in a very short period of time relatively speaking we're talking about october 21 when price action was hitting all-time high right so that's just eight, nine months ago. That's pretty wild. Anyway, that's pretty much how we feel about the situation here on the Bitcoin as we approach that big level and price section is having an attempt for a breakdown. Let's hope it's going to be successful given our position on the Bitcoin. Uh, Stubbles level, 23,500 has been adjusted 
as you would expect. That's about that for this one, and that's about that for the day. See you tomorrow. Take care.